warriors get a bit nerfed by the epic odds because you really, really need your Doom, Tidehunter, and Kanka. I think six warriors is more of a tier two build than anything else right now. Um, maybe tier three. It's okay. You can do it. But the best thing to do with six warriors is usually to pair it with like big time contracts on Doom for like getting DPS. The biggest thing is six warriors is very defensive. So you need some form of offense, right? So it's like contract on Doom. Uh, often they were using like a level two Arc Warden and that's what, you know, good stuff was. It's like six warriors with Arc Warden plus Enigma plus two Warlocks or something. Or six warriors plus four Warlocks um, was kind of the thing. But you always want to run like the embedded scaled with Tide onto Sardar. You're often going to be running like a tiny level three, I guess, at the very end. I would skip the like brawny guys uh, for sure. Well, the most important thing is like getting decent DPS items. If you get DPS items, you can get six warriors. The problem is you can't, you can't actually like guarantee that you're getting them, right? So yeah, six warriors feels a lot worse right now, but still playable. I mean, everything's playable. Arcane boots puck is good. Ending up moving Brooch to Morph. Arcane boots puck. Why? I mean, puck has like a lower mana pool, but she charges mana a lot slower, right? I guess I can Arcane Boots Puck if I have like more frontline items. It frees up Brooch somewhat. Xeno. Is this Xeno, Xeno? Nah, Xeno I know is not Lord. <laughs> I just want the big passion fixed assassins. Yeah, same, bro. Honestly, like, assassins, three assassins should be very good right now, by the way. Three assassins should be one of the best ways to play the game. But their their bug is literally not allowing them to do anything at all. Favoring Brooch over Gloves. Brooch over Gloves is the sign of, like, a true mage spammer, right? Like, I have to literally be playing six mages in every single game. I need to have a range of, like, two if I take Brooch over Gloves, which is, like, mages and scrappies. I don't actually mind jamming that range of two right now. Mages, scrappies. I could do that. Let's farm this axe. You guys remember the good old days where we used to farm axe on creep rounds? Any thoughts on how to get anywhere to Furion? He feels terrible no matter what I do with him. Yeah, just stop doing things with him. Sometimes the best play is to just fold. Just fold the hand, dude. Just don't. There's no sneaky way to play it. It's just Furion. It's just don't click on him. Like, I have summoning stone and an enchantress level 2 and no druid, and I still don't click on Furion. Like, that's, that's what Furion is. Okay, that's, a, I'm slightly exaggerating in that case, but the point is, like, I, I basically just don't click on that unit. It's bad. It's not good. Amazing shaft for Furion. Buy him, click on him, and press E. Yeah, sure. Which heroes would you like to see come to this game? I don't know. I like the Reddit's Invoker idea. Uh, Rubik. I don't know, all of them. I played a lot of Dota. I miss a lot of the heroes, like Magnus, like Leshrac. They always put the most iconic units in first. And they always forget the ones that, like, nobody actually really likes, like THD, or like. I can't even remember them because they're, they're just kind of like, I don't know, peripheral. What even are the units in Dota that aren't in this game? I've played too much of this game and not enough Dota. I don't even know anymore. I don't know, I tried going Brawnies once and it was kind of the worst idea ever. Probably just never again, right? With Blade Mail and this. In theory, this is the best play. In theory. Meepo, yeah, Meepo, sure. THD. THD is Jakiro, guys. Jesus. Are you guys actual Dota players? Come on. Sven, yeah, Sven was in auto chess. It was like the level legendary demon warrior. It was cool. Dark Willow, Dark Willow was added after my time, but yeah. Mars, Mars was cool. I really liked what Mars did in uh, auto chess. I miss gods in auto chess. Earthshaker, yeah, there's Earthshaker. I don't know, dude. So many units. All the spirits. Wait, do they have none of? Oh, dude, they have none of the spirit brothers in this game. And then there's like Void Spirit, the fourth spirit brother. Spirit Breaker, Vengeful Spirit for like the five man team cosplayers.
That was so bad, by the way. It was such a terrible, it was such a terrible time being, being like a pub player. Like, cause, cause I played on a lot of like low ranked pubs and just like stomped people. Cause I found that amusing. Um, it got old pretty fast, but I don't know. It was fun for a while. And like being, being a pub player at the time that all the spirits were coming out. It was kind of awful. Because basically, how it was is, like, there were, I, I remember in, like, the first week, there were, I, I queued into, like, four different teams that were just running the five units with Spirit in their name because they wanted to think it was funny or, I don't know. It was funny at first. The, fun, the first time it was funny. It's like, hee hee, there's five units with Spirit in their name and they're running all of them. Tee hee. You guys know what I'm talking about if you played Dota at that time. Because you've seen that. It's like, you know. Okay. I shouldn't be taking aggressive levels as much. I don't mind opening myself to Scrappies this game. Scrappies or mages. Oops. I'll protect us. I think I want to do one or the other. I think I'm fine with that. Whatever. This looks like a board. Who cares? Looks more magey than scrappy right now. Liquid playing a full TFT glacial comp in the LCS against TSM was pretty meme. Yeah. I heard TFT is doing like pretty well these days. I don't know. How how is it actually like going? I actually haven't heard much about TFT for the past like while. Try to pair me up with positive I just know it was like, you know, it was obviously a lot more like popular at the start or whatever. Try to pair me up with positive people, okay? I don't know, dude. This build actually just gets a little shafted by the lack of assassins. It's like, how can I run Morphling and Quop if I don't have assassins? I don't really have early scrappy options. Which Twitch numbers seem down a lot of the hype died. I think that's always going to be true for these auto battler games. I mean, literally every one that's ever been launched is like, it's always super hype at the start and the numbers dwindle because it's like, I don't know. It's not that the game is shallow. Shallow is definitely the wrong word, but I guess a lot of the games feel kind of repetitive. I don't know. What's the what's the best way to say it? Because it's not like there's a lot of depth to the game. It just like I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't often tend to grab a lot of people. This guy's thinking about curving off of Brownie. I think he has no reason to curve right now, though. Like, it's, it, uh, you know, it, it attracts people, but doesn't give them enough reason to kind of stay. Formulaic. Formulaic is actually, yeah, sure, it's a bit more formulaic. I think that a large part of the people that play these games are people that played the original MOBAs. And when you're, like, a MOBA player, this is kind of, like, a fun weekend thing. Or, like, me, you play it for a week, and then it's, like... You know, because you are a MOBA player, it's not going to have the same, like, uh, depth, I guess. It's not going to carry your attention as long, presumably. myself which game should I play Dota 2 I don't know I'm still kind of like semi keeping my options for scrappy open I guess 
seems kind of like a dream at this point. I don't know. I mean, how can I play Scrappy right now? It just seems kind of like too late. You can play Tinker. You can play like just Tinker in Mages, right? Isn't that a thing some people do? I think I just lost this creep round. I don't know. This is this is a little awkward. I don't know, it's like... A start like this, where you have five Morphlings... Should feel so much better than it does. But Assassins is uncompletable. Tinker and Mages is neat. Yeah, I can try this. Yo, I'm playing against you. Yo, what's up, Surging Penguin? Is that Kane Bootsy? I mean, that's just good in both comps. Three Tinker with CM to feed it sounds good. Yeah, sure. And I'm not running Sniper either way, right? Can't run three Assassin, dude. What do we do here? We need to like be in three mages somehow. That doesn't really happen here though. Yeah, it's a weird start. Having a third mage on this board would be a really big improvement to it. Oh well. I mean, two level two morphlings at 11 is just kind of a funny meme. When would you ever run Bounty Hunter? Just curious. Uh, early game spots for scrappy builds. As a completer for four scrappies, and that's pretty much it. Or level two bounty hunter early game for assassin, but of course right now assassin is kind of not a thing at this current moment until they fix the bug. Doing six mages with morph tied tinker is solid, but it depends on tinker progress. Yeah, pairing tinkers on 11 isn't super great progress, but it's open as well, which is usually pretty rare. This one guy is like sitting on a blocker. He's still benching like scrappies. What the? I don't understand the strategy. He's playing brownies. I guess he's transitioning. He probably hasn't found enough brownies to make him want to stay. Which is kind of sad for me, because I want him to stay. Oh well. At this point then, we have to sell Tinker. We have no choice. Because this guy is going to be competing with our Tinker. And it's only paired on 12, so it's just not good enough. It needs to be like, 4 of on 12 makes me feel good about staying in it, contested. <clears throat> beta male? I mean, that's not even a beta male. Like, he's he's committed. He's he's made up his mind already. Like, he's he's been benching, the, like, he's lost so many interest points benching these. Like, I know he's not going brownie. Like, he's not in decision mode. He's just like, he just hasn't leveled them to 2 yet, so he's still just waiting to put them in. But his decision has been made. They won't live long enough. Yeah, I don't really want to sell this other razor actually. Whatever. It's Martini. Didn't I host this guy last night? Mm, he silenced one of my morphs into oblivion. Oh, uh, my quap. The human silence is so good, dude. We lost. God, humans are OP. What if I actually just do a human comp? Like that. That human silence just won him the entire fight. It's not even close. That's hot. We won't lose. Six humans? I mean, maybe like four. I don't know, Human humans are kind of underrated, right? What do you guys think? Eh? Eh? I 
think so. I think so. Because the thing is, humans... Humans as an alliance, people don't really use. Like, nobody, nobody looks at alliances and goes like, yeah, I'm gonna go humans this game. But maybe that's the secret. Six mages with DK, Omni, and Kanka. That'll be six humans as well. I mean, that's one idea. Six mages with DK, Omni, and Kanka. I honestly don't truly hate it. It's not like the most I've ever hated a build. Okay, wait, wait, what's the scaling on this? 20, 44, 66. The fuck kind of scaling is this, by the way? 20, 44, 66. What's the, like, what's the logic? What's, where did they get these numbers from? Okay, so it's 20, 44, 66. So it scales to two thirds chance. I just don't see how it's possible for this to actually be good. It's definitely funny. Morph 7, neat. Four humans with either Conquer or DK. I mean, mages want to go four humans, sure. If you think about it, all numbers are ass pulled. I know, but. I mean, <laughs> I know that, but come on, it's not the same. These numbers are really weird, dude. <laughs> silencer added when? Oh, uh, silence will be, silencer will be the human ace. Pog, dude. About time someone recognizes my talent. About time someone recognizes my talent. Please stop being edgy and put Razor back in for Primordial. I'm basically one eighth gay. Is that worth it? I mean, it's Razor. Is that edgy? What does Primordial get me? I mean, these Eidolons aren't really doing anything, are they? See, those Eidolons did nothing. It wasn't even close to doing anything. So, like, what the hell does Primordial get me? Hell. Not allowed to say hell. I'm supposed to say heck. Okay, let's put Razor in for primordials. Cottle. Cottle. There we go. I mean, double arcane boots means Coddle can get places. Uh oh. No CM though is actually maybe not good enough. Okay, Coddle's really bad. <laughs> it's a disaster. Okay, full mana. Let's go. Oh! Look at that DPS. His spell. Okay, so 366. Most of that's auto attacks. How much damage did this spell do? Let's eyeball this. It's like 70 damage. Okay, yeah, that's not great. <laughs> Ooh. I'm I'm down with this. This seems cool. So Quap is just not gonna be a part of this build, right? Time to burn it down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We can just sell this club. Club progress needs to be a lot better than this. 
Yeah, we just ass pulled four Lina's in one round. That's pretty good. We're one morph off from morph three. I mean, we are kind of nutting. Soma's not playing savages with twisted alternative reality as this. Guys, good stuff got nerfed. I'm a meta slave. Good stuff is bad stuff now. So there's a literal demonic succubus in this game and other demons that collect souls. I think hell is a real place. Yeah, but it's still, I mean, you're still not supposed to say hell. I was taught that as a child. You're supposed to say heck. Big boy. Large boy. I mean, I compare primordials now. That just doesn't really seem worth. Do we have six mages? Wait. Six mages at seven units. Nice meme. Uh, ooh, uh, uh oh. No! Ah. Uh, mm, something went wrong here. I mean, six mages. Look at this waveform. Oh! <laughs> one waveform! Look at this shit! That's one waveform! <laughs> oh, so fucking easy, dude. Heck, you sure fricked them good swim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Swim, I have another prediction. Maybe there will be a way to make Heartless and Human Units be both at the same time. What do you think about that? Why? What's the point? This is pretty good if we find a Maelstrom this round. Casual double arc reward and Maelstrom at 20. Let's fucking see it, dude. Are we winning this round? Wait, I think we need double Lina. Wait, that means we have to get out of six mages. Uh-oh. Ooh, uh, E. Ah. Uh, er. Uh. We have no choice. Nice, Laguna. Nice, dude. Oh, he silenced. Get him! See him! Okay, we lost. What a difficult round. Wow, I really needed a Maelstrom here, too. Okay, how do we beat this round? That fucking Lu the second Laguna blade. <laughs> the fuck, dude? Can I just go contract? Isn't that a thing I can just do? Can't I just go contract? Like, isn't that just fine? Brooch, bro. Yeah, we have Ogre, dude. Bro. Ogre. You could just sell Quap and Viper at this point. I was thinking about selling Viper, yeah. Viper I could probably just sell this time. Okay, my cat is behind my monitor and he's moving it. You guys might see my camera just shift like that. That's fine. Your razor's still one. Right. I know. I want to hit this interest point. I can sell the Viper instead. That's fine. Brooch Coddle is better than Contracts. Probably in Mages. I don't know. I'm paired on Arc Wardens. This isn't really enough, like, magic damage, though. Brooch is probably better there. <laughs> Seems good. Seems great. Okay, so Blightstone on Coddle will help him charge mana faster. I don't know, I mean, Contract's still Contract. Arc Warden's still Arc Warden. 
It is a high synergy build. See how many Pudgas there are. I mean, if there's like even one Pudga, I like this corner position, or semi corner. That one star razor triggers me. I mean, I'd like it to be a two star razor, but we're in six minutes, it's fine. It's, it's all right. It's all good in the hood, my dude. It'll be fine. So we want to go to 9 early. This is a 9 on 25 kind of game. So we can take a couple rolls here. Mm, Our roll good. value does go up off that Luna upgrade. Um, And then there's this talk of like the fourth human. You guys are always trying to make me buy this fourth human. It's part of the reason I kind of like DK over Viper. It's just like, it feels like it condenses it better. Yeah, Mage Day will be fun, because I, I, I need to practice Mages anyway. Uh oh. Oh, it's a disaster. The fucking range on that thing. DK for Arc Warden? DK for Arc Warden? I mean, if Arc Warden's not completing, we can get a DK for Arc Warden. I'm so close to outs, but it's 24. I can take the free roll. I think the free roll is just a misplay, though. I'm pretty sure. Good player would never free roll here. Human's so hard to evaluate. I kind of do want to try like a human build and see what happens. This is probably the best, like, human build, right? It's like, you run mages and then you just add a fourth human. Mages probably have synergy with human. I could see a weird argument that could stipulate that they have anti-synergy with human. Because, like, mages... Human's best if you're killing them in that time. It's a four-second silence, right? And mages are kind of the ones that can actually, like... Mages make sense with human. I think they do have to. They're supposed to make sense with humans. Six human is good, not gonna lie. So how, like, what's, what's the average scaling of a two, four, six? I gotta go back to like the alliances for something that like only affects its own alliance. Like, do we need the other Lena here? Uh, did we lose? Uh, Whirly birds are so hard. God, we didn't lose another round, did we? I need the Lena level three. Got him. Nice. Wait, I remember losing to these last time when we were in Mages. We beat Hellbears, but then we lost to these. That was uh, an experience. But yeah, DK is I. DK is all right. Didn't have Arc Warden last time. Yeah, we did. Not last time. I'm not talking about last game. I'm talking about last night. When we actually had a decent game with mages. Alk 1 over Witch Doctor 2. No. Probably not. Yo, do you expect artifact updates in the future? Yeah. I mean, I don't expect anything specific out of them. But eventually something will happen. My, my expectations are not very high. I mean, it's just Octarine, right? It's like Octarine Morph 3 with CM with the Bugged Aura is just kind of this neat thing, right? I'm pretty sure that's neat. Like, that has to be neat. Caught a Lich. Caught a Lich is okay. So now gloves on Caught and Blightstone on 
DK. I guess. Bugdora, what is it, Bugdora now? Mm, a good part of the game. I mean, it's just like all the passive skills in the game and Assassin Alliance. Um, are there any other like big bugs? They fixed the demon bug. It's been in the game for a couple weeks, but they actually fixed that as far as we can tell like two days ago, right? Do you expect Underlords updates in the future? Yeah, I expect there to be an Underlords update in uh, 34 days from now. 34, no, sorry, 33. My math is a little off. Quote me on that when it happens exactly on that date. Easiest puck sell of my career. Out of here, puck. So yeah, this like, this casual like Morph 3 Octarine 6 Mage thing is pretty neat. I don't know, Arc Warden's gonna pick up slack. The ass bug will go into Uranus at night. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Just needed quap. Quap. We put a quap on this board. Let's check out this morphling damage. The morphling just got silenced and killed. I wasn't even watching the fight. <laughs> And we still won. Man, human silence is so OP. It's so broken. God. Like, that human silence just procced for like 9,000 damage. Because this Morphling, if it doesn't get silenced, it waveforms twice with Octarine. That human silence is worth so much there. How is this not the most broken concept in the game? Hmm, yum. It was target dummy? Oh yeah, it was target dummy. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I, guys, I don't actually watch fights, okay? <laughs> Come on, don't judge me. Uh-oh, target buddy, it's happening again. It's a disaster. Morphling, no! <laughs> okay. Dude, target buddy's so good. Because I can't really have him, like, far enough back from the front line. I can step my entire comp, like, one step back. Because I do need this Morphling to get gone on a bit, right? That's kind of the entire point. I should be stepping my entire comp like one step back anyway, right? Because isn't this just better anyway? Seems better. Puck can be kind of here-ish since she has phase shift. Here-ish looks good. Hmm. Oh, don't mind if I do. Puck 5 comes in. Ah, uh, not even close. Get the fuck out of here, Puck. Okay, raise your hand if you think selling that Puck was a misplay. This is a teachable moment. Okay. All right, guys, so the most important thing to understand is that you have to kind of plan out what you're doing for the rest of the game, and you have to think about your role value, okay? Now, I know there's this meme where I say the phrase role value, and you guys you guys are all like, hee hee, swim likes that word, it's a funny word, or something, I don't know. We, 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 we you know, we, we do this little dance, you know. Um, <clears throat> so the idea is very simple. If we're not going to be rolling, we're not going to be finding puck, right? It's a function of our bench. Like, let's imagine this bench had, uh, let's say we hadn't completed Lena and she was at like a six of, instead of like an eight of or anything like that. Let's say she was at six or seven Lena's and we haven't completed her. Suddenly it's like rolling instead of leveling can make some sense. I can't roll for one unit. So I can't work on a three star puck. That just can't happen. Even though puck is good and even though I want to run puck, like puck three is good in mages, don't get me wrong. It is very good in mages. 
but we're not in roll value here. We're gonna level to 10, we're gonna slap a second Lich on our board, then we're gonna get a third Lich, and they're gonna combine it to a big Lich, and then we're gonna get a fourth Lich, and that's gonna be a second small Lich. Then we're gonna get a fifth Lich, it's gonna pair, we're gonna get a sixth Lich, and then we're gonna have two big Liches. That's like, that's how the progress of this game is gonna go. Like, we're leveling to 10 before we hit the R button a single time, our tier two odds are gonna go down further, and we're not gonna have a lot of rolls to actually turn five pucks into nine. Like, we shouldn't expect to get nine pucks there. However, let's imagine we had like six or seven Linas instead of the Lina completed. Suddenly I'm like, okay, maybe ruling a bit deeper actually makes more sense and I can maybe work on two things at once. You just can't work on one thing at a time. It's just no good. Oh, uh, I think it's Octarine, right? Pretty sure I get flamed if I don't pick Octarine there. Isn't it? Isn't that just like the easiest choice of my entire life? I don't think I've had an easier choice. That really has to be the easiest choice of my entire life, right? It's pretty easy. Male DK would have been so nice with the mage debuff. I mean, so you're suggesting male arc and then DK leveling to two and then big time contract on DK, which you could have done. Octarine on Lena 3 is pretty good with the like CM Bugdora. We'll see. I don't play a lot of mages, but from what I've seen, like the people that play a lot of mages in chat, uh, I think would have gone Octarine there. I'm not sure this is proper. Male on Octarine with mage buff feels <laughs> feels weird, man. I mean, I, 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 I listen, look, listen. I know. We're trying the Octarine spot. Don't get me wrong, Octarine might be better. Just speculating. Yeah, same. So you can't really fit in Disruptor into this comp, right? Which is uh, a little sad. DK's up. I'm basically one eighth gay. So yeah, gloves of haste on Coddle. Will actually be better than DK, right? I mean, mages are kind of the one divergent strategy in this game. I should play mages more. They're my kind of build. Zocterine has done nothing so far. It's like Lina just gets wiped in two fights here. This guy steamrolls me with three stars. That's fine. We're kind of like greeting until our power spike. So it's just the level to 10 on 33. Now we're playing for like just like more liches basically. I don't know. I don't really like Octarine on single target abilities. DK should be in the front now. Uh, yeah. I mean, this level two disruptor is something that just does want to exist, right? Ah. Uh. I think we have to we have to keep this disruptive pair because when the lich completes and if the disruptive completes, it's just so big. That storm is just too big. And disruptive two can even carry Octarine, I think, right? The second Octarine hasn't really impressed me. I don't know. I have to deal with all you mage spammers in chat. Telling me how good Octarine on like anything is in mages. It's kind of okay here. We can put it on like one of the liches, right? Might be better. What's a way you think they can do in Underlords so the essence of free flowing and drafting is still completely there? Oh, so this is something I was talking about the other day when I was speculating Underlords. The smartest thing for them to do, in my opinion, by a wide margin, and I hope this is what they're doing, is to make it so that different Underlords represent different playstyles for different types of players. I'm not talking about alliances, I'm mostly talking about the dichotomy between like playing this game as more of a draft style game and playing this game as more of a constructed style game, right? So like, I really, I think the like, 
it, it almost has to be the proper way to design this game to have like underlords cater towards different towards those different play styles specifically which is you know so you can have one underlord that is for like a draft style player and we brainstormed a lot of ideas about exactly what kinds of things this could do right so we were talking like constructed style talents or passives or skills would be you know maybe re-rolling increasing probabilities of finding stuff you're already in by varying amounts or like some kind of thing that gets you what you're looking for in some way for some cost that kind of ability whereas you know the draft underlord would be that's a lot harder to design for and a lot more interesting to design for uh, but we were brainstorming options with chat and some, some cool options that came to mind were, you know, stuff that allows you to switch alliances around. Like, for example, abilities kind of like big time contracts that can kind of change one alliance or like one alliance tag to kind of match what you want, fitting like the kind of draft playstyle. Or certain abilities that give you some kind of power that scales with um, your weaker alliances. Like some, some incentivizer for low tier alliances. For example, like a two of alliance or a three of alliance instead of six ofs. It's like if you have an incomplete tier, if, you, if, if you're on the first tier of an alliance, it, it gets more value than the second tier. In not, no, not more value than the second tier, but some compensator or something like that. I don't know. There's a lot of interesting options. I can't stop. I can't stop. There's something wrong with me. Oh, something vaguely like this. Wait, Tombstone? What the fuck? Um, Tombstone's pretty good. I mean, in this matchup, like mage versus mage, there's three mages. I mean, three, th three of the six mages have made it to the top four here. I mean, it's gotta be pipe, right? Like, Tombstone is this adorable concept that people like to circle jerk, but... And don't get me wrong, it's a good item, but it's not, like, the craziest thing that you have to pick and it needs a nerf. Like, that's that's all kind of jokes. It's a good item. It's, it's fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not good. It is good. We gotta, like, roll before they steal my liches. Yeah. Yeah, something like this is fine. Pipe the arc and put him in the center. Did they actually fix the bug with multiple pipes? Because that bug might still be in the game, right? I mean, this guy has a tombstone and he really wishes he had a pipe. Keep rolling and lock. I, I, uh, yeah, yeah. There's the the, the roll and lock arguments because you get blacklist when you roll and lock, and you're also like you get like his units out of the pool that he wants. So the, the the roll and lock play is like technically efficient in the late game spot. It's like uh, that's an octarine. Sorry, Disruptor, you have been replaced. Seems good. I mean, Octarine Lich. That's a fucking four second cooldown. Fuck this, dude. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Mm, that's level three CM aura. Oh, yeah. Oh, round two. Let's go, dude. Oh, round three. Let's go, dude. Okay, we lost. God, how did we lose? This game is so hard, dude. Okay, we won. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a tie! Wait, he's just doing more damage. That's not fair. Wait, he's got stone. <laughs> That's cheating. Can I just take out my DK for like this level one lich? Can I actually do that? I think I'm not supposed to do that. I really kind of want to though. 
I don't know. It's it's a little difficult playing around this Tide Hunter. There's a couple things we can do. Since this is the one guy that's not another mage, um, we don't have to play for pipe as much now that the other mage players are out. Suddenly, gathering for pipe is nice, but not my top priority. My top priority is spreading for his AoE. We just need to win one fight since he's at seven. Looks like we're good here. Neat. Okay, that was that was a pretty funny game. So yeah, I mean, six mages are kind of in full force. So let's let's look back. Let's think about the options. So, uh, seems pretty good. Most of our decisions were solid. The one thing is we chose big time contract. Our item choices, two item choices were questionable. We chose big time contract on 20 with a pair of arc wardens over, what did we choose that over? I can't 100% remember. The big time contract represents an option for arc warden or DK. It doesn't mean we have to stay an Ogre instead of Razor, which is a bit worse, because Ogre is more value. We, we took it over Brooch. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that... I could see both arguments. I mean, Big Time Contract is still good, and even though this build is mostly mages, it still does deal, like, auto-attack damage. Like, you want, like, a DK2, and Contract on DK2 is good. I think it was a misplay. We probably should have gone Void Stone, or sorry, Brooch of the Aggressor. Brooch of the Aggressor in hindsight probably was better. Um, it seems a little weird to say that. But the other thing about Big Time Contract is it kind of like demands an entire slot. Like if we look at this board, let's say we don't have Contract and we didn't find the Maelstrom later. Arc Warden has no business being here, and then this second Lich comes into play, and that's fine. Now, the Arc Warden 2 of the Contract is better than this Lich. But that doesn't matter, because we don't have to have the contract, we can have the Void Stone, right? So the Void Stone or the Brooch of the Aggressor is the better pick there. Additionally, the second choice, which you guys know, was the Octarine for our Lena 3 at the time, but we knew we were getting it like a Lich later. Octarine over Maelstrom on Arc. That is harder. So Octarine's the long-term play, because Octarine is not super good on level 3 Lena, for sure. Maelstrom is better short-term. We have, like, the health lead at that point in the game, and we also... Had two arcane boots. I like to think Octarine was the better pick in that spot. Because it also doesn't tie us to Arc Warden. It means we can actually sell the Arc Warden, put the contract on this guy, if we have like room for another Lich. I think the Octarine was the correct choice. I think I agree with that. So that means we misplayed on 20, but took the right choice on 25 for the Octarine. Do you guys agree with that? Because I think that's kind of where I am right now. Um, apart from that, I think it was a pretty clean game. Pipe over Tombstone, top four, three mages. Three six mages, by the way. This is dominating performance for six mages. Three of them in the top four. Um, pipe has to be over Tombstone in the spot. Um, three star what we wanted to three star. Two star what we wanted to two star. The rest of the game is just kind of solid. Our timing for levels kind of had to be the way it was. Nine on 25 is just kind of standard if you have things. If, if your board is getting cramped and you want to expand to upgrade you're looking for lich outs at that point and then 10 on 33 is a little bit greedy but again with that health lead we want to take that greed so yeah i think the rest of the game was very clean